Item number SCP-5028 Index Primal Human Needs Special Containment Procedures All activities and buildings relating to the storage, creation, or use of landmines, plastic explosives weighing less than 2 kilograms, and other small conventional explosives, including, but not limited to, Tannerite, Thermite, Semtex, are to be monitored by the SCP Foundation for SCP-5023 events. If an event is confirmed to have happened or is currently ongoing, Mobile Task Force Sigma 301 Rainy Day should be deployed to the location to protect bystanders, provide emergency services, and disarm any active explosives if possible. Description SCP-5023 is a phenomenon that occurs when six or more humans are within 100 meters of a large supply of explosives, causing all subjects to engage in an extremely dangerous game of Ultimate Frisbee. No participants will be harmed during the proceedings, but structures and objects will be damaged or destroyed as normal. The events that occur during an SCP-5023 event are consistent across all documented cases and are presented below. Personnel will stop working and begin to talk amongst themselves, even if doing so is potentially dangerous. A man with a tank top and muscular build designated SCP-5023-A and a woman with a lacerated and bleeding foot designated SCP-5023-B will approach the subjects and ask them if they would like to play Ultimate Frisbee. Despite the odd appearance of the two entities, most subjects will agree. Contrary to some similar anomalies, subjects suffer no compulsion to engage with the entities. SCP-5023-B will begin to explain the rules to the subjects, while SCP-5023-A will begin to clear an area and shape the explosives by hand. SCP-5023-B will then offer the subjects a wristband in the colors red or blue. This is the last point that a participant can safely opt out. The game will commence and be played until the supply of explosives is depleted. Participants are largely immune to physical damage during the game, believed to be a byproduct of the bracelet. Attempts to recover a bracelet for testing have failed. Both SCP-5023-A and B have evaded Foundation capture, but provided a single interview in 2012. Remote interview with SCP-5023. Interview conducted by Dr. Alexandra Virgil via drone. Begin log. SCP-5023-B can be seen shouting across the field outside of a munitions factory in Redacted. SCP-5023-B. Get some water. You've been playing hard. A man can be seen holding a landmine while another man throws punches at it in a manner similar to a boxing coach and a boxer. The second man makes contact, detonating the mine and launching the pair an unknown distance apart. Both sit up and begin laughing. All right. You and you player. Love me some robots. Dr. Virgil. No. This is a remote-controlled drone, not a real robot. Off-screen. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. Obstacles only exist in your mind, brother. Pump some iron and make it real. Ah, uh, is that a joke? No jokes here, bro brother. We're all about self-improvement. He's getting ready for the Olympics, and I'm learning to firewalk. All mind over matter. I am not going to touch that. Okay. Why are you playing Ultimate Frisbee with highly dangerous explosives? It's all about satisfying the most primal of human urges. Pause. Sorry if that human bit is insensitive. You're... never mind. When you say most primal of human urges, do you mean adrenaline? A sense of danger? Ah, yeah, man. We are no strangers to extreme sports and all, but we mean the human need to play ultimate. The what? You know, when you pick up anything circulastic or round and you just feel like you've got to throw it like a frisbee. That. Okay, but why explosives? Flying is great. Pause. I don't want to cut this short, but we should get back to it. 
My buddy sent me a new frisbee. I can't wait to try out. SCP-5023 can be seen withdrawing a modified Roomba vacuum cleaner from its bag. Special edition for DC. Pretty neat. Huh? Hey, catch! End log. Attempts to take SCP-5023-A and SCP-5023-B into custody are ongoing. Property damages caused by both entities exceeds $36 billion.